Hello and welcome to Science with Mr. Webber. Today we're looking at reactions of life. Adenosine triphosphate, ATP, is a high energy molecule that is used for providing energy for the processes that occur within cells. It's like a energy commodity within a cell. So it's used for storing and transferring energy throughout cells. Photosynthesis is the process where plants convert sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide gas into oxygen and sugar. The raw materials for photosynthesis are produced via, so water is absorbed from the ground via roots. Carbon dioxide gas is absorbed through tiny holes in its leaves known as stomata and ultraviolet light is caused by sunlight. Chloroplasts are cellular organelles uh, where photosynthesis occurs, so these little green things within these cells. So these contain the chemical known as chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a green photosynthetic pigment that is responsible for absorbing light. Uh, chlorophyll is actually the cause of the green color within plants. Cellular respiration. So this is the process of producing ATP and it's relevant uh, because we are using glucose and oxygen to produce carbon dioxide gas, water, and ATP. Now the reason why I say it's relevant is that glucose and oxygen are the products of photosynthesis and now we're using those within another process uh, in order to produce that ATP. So some details of cellular respiration. So the location of cellular respiration is the mitochondria, uh, which is why the mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell. Oxygen is collected in the lungs via breathing. Glucose is obtained via the digestive system from food for animals. Uh, for plants, they're able to uh, use the glucose directly from their photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide is breathed out through the lungs and ATP is stored in or used by cells. Okay, so just to compare the two processes, so photosynthesis is the process of converting carbon dioxide and water, okay, so within the chloroplasts, into oxygen and glucose. That oxygen and glucose is then uh, used by the mitochondria to produce our chemical energy or ATP and the byproducts of that process are then water and carbon dioxide gas. So by this producing uh, waste molecules that are the requirements for the next process, we're able to end up with a cycle. This is why this process is sustainable because we are constantly cycling through this process. That's it for me today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.